guys. This video is going to be um, some Mary Kay products that I've received as samples and I just kind of want to try them out and tell you how I like them. Um, as I apply this moisturizer, it's uh, Mary Kay's Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer. Uh, I'll just kind of talk to you about um, how I got these. So I went to the um, Ultimate Women's Expo um, this weekend and went to a lot of booths and there were a booth from Dior. Um, let's see, Estee Lauder, Chanel, uh, Mary Kay, Avon, um, Regis, the hair salon was there. So I got a chance to talk to a lot of people and Mary Kay was nice enough to give me some samples. Um, so I have some great stuff to try out. So this is just the moisturizer. It feels, it's a little runny. This sample is probably two to three um, uses. And actually it feels kind of tacky almost. So I'm kind of interested to see what that does. Um, and then the TimeWise Firming Eye Cream is next. So um, that's supposed to help with puffiness. And I'm going to put that on my eyes. This eye cream sample actually looks like it would last a long time. This is the consistency of it. It's pretty thick. So I'm just applying it all around the eye area. Now that those have had a chance to set, um, I'm using the Laura Geller brand um, Spackle Supercharged Fortified Under Makeup Primer. And priming for my foundation. And then I didn't get a foundation, obviously they don't have samples for every single color, so uh, I'll just use my L'Oreal True Match foundation real quick. Now I'm going to be filling in my brows with, of course, my good old Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I'm using my e.l.f. smudge pot in the color brownie points and I'm just putting this all over the lid because I do have an eyeliner and mascara sample that, um, so I don't want the eyeshadow look to be too complicated, I just want something um, very basic. And then I'm going to tap on a little bit of a lighter color in the inner corner and highlight and stuff just to make, bring out a little bit of color here. So. This is a Makeup Forever. It's just a creamy white. And now I'm going to tap on a little bit of a shimmery color right onto the lower inner part of the lid for a little bit of dimension. Okay, so I'm going to move on and use the eyeliner that I got. This is the tiniest, cutest little sample. Look at that. Um, this is the Mary Kay Eyeliner black noir. It doesn't say what kind of eyeliner, but it's a little retractable pencil. I'm testing the smudgeability. So it's pretty smudgeable. It definitely moved when I pressed it with my finger. So I smudged it out and then I went back over and did like a, a regular line. So it was very smudgeable and it did move a lot. I don't know if that's a good thing. It depends on your um, preferences. Some people like to smoke out their liners. So that might be good. Some people like a harsh line. Um, this is the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. It's a little sample. Let's see what the wand looks like. Pretty standard. So let's see how it does. I find that Mary Kay prices are very reasonable. Much lower than like Mac. Sometimes comparable to the drugstore and sometimes a little bit higher, but... Well, I think that mascara worked pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. I 
Wow. Okay. This mascara is really good. Um, they call it the ultimate. So, I mean, if you look, like, that was just two coats. I feel like I really got a nice um, look with the mascara. So, I'm really impressed with that. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it, finish off my cheeks. I don't actually have any Mary Kay stuff to sample with that. So, I'm just going to use the um, Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Because when I don't want to grab for 18 things in my collection, this has the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight all in one. And this is a Milani lipstick. Um, it is Naturally Chic, number 25. Um, I just did a haul video with this, or haul, not really a haul. Um, is it a dupe video for one of my Estee Lauder lipsticks? So um, I really like this lipstick taste. It tastes like candy. <laughs> so this is it for an everyday look that you can do with some uh, Mary Kay products. Um, last but not least, I have several um, perfume samples from them, and I just wanted to kind of describe the scents to you. Um, this fragrance, Thinking of You, it smells like, how would I describe it? Kind of fresh and floral, but not too sweet. Not a musk, fresh and floral, but not too sweet. And the next one is called Bellera, Bellera. And this one, it smells more my style. A little bit more sweet, very feminine, um, not floral. I don't know how to explain that one either. And Bella, Bellara. And this one, oh, it's hard to describe scents. But I like all three. Um, none of them are like really offensive or musky. I don't like like anything that says sandalwood or like a smoked like scent or um, patchouli or baby powder or musky. I don't like any of those. I like them to be very clean, fresh, light, florally, feminine. Um, those are my favorite scents. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to leave um, the lady's name, the Mary Kay um, rep that I spoke with. I'm going to leave her information in the description box and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you later. Bye.